Hello everybody, this is Chris from Edmodo Mo. Today I'm going to show you how you can join a Zoom meeting from uh, your phone using the Edmodo app. I've got two smartphones here. I've got my iPhone and I've got uh, an Android phone over here. It, you can also go to the App Store. If you have an Apple phone, then you go to the App Store and you can download an app. The app is called Zoom Cloud Meetings. I'll show you how to do that. And this is what it looks like, Zoom Cloud Meetings. Now it's the same thing on the Android phone, except that you go to the Play Store. So I'm going to go to the Play Store and I'm going to type in the name of the app. And this is what it is, okay? So I've got it here. So I'm installing it right now. While it's installing, I'm going to explain to you what you need for this. What I recommend is that you have a pair of earphones with a built-in microphone. These are gaming ones which I use and they're about $10, $10 to $15. Uh, the reason why we have a microphone is to prevent uh, echo when you're on a call and it, it will ensure clear sound. If you don't have anything like this, you can use an ordinary pair of earphones, okay, like this. And they usually have a basic mic. This will do the job as well, okay. Now while that's loaded, now that's already open now, I can open it and this is it okay this is what the app looks like okay now we're gonna have to join a meeting next step is that you should log in if you've already created an account just log in let's go to my class and this is the class where the zoom link was shared can you see that if you click on this link you should be able to join the meeting but before you do that don't forget to connect your earphones because that will ensure that you have good quality sound okay so I'm gonna join that now on it and it should open up zoom it's connecting now there you go it's connected so the first step is to start my video if I want to share my video if I want to show my face I can do that easily so go back to the meeting and you can see that I can see myself on the computer screen. Okay, that's me, that's the host. I'm gonna put that away, okay? But you wanna show yourself, right? So, let's see. So, can you see this icon, this red icon here? It says start video. If I wanna start my own video and show my face, I can do that here. And now I've done that, you can see me here, okay? I wanna put it close to my, put my face closer that you can see. You should be able to see me waving in front of my phone camera okay now if you look over here there's an icon here it says participants you can see who you're talking to and okay who you're talking to and in the corner here there's chats now if you don't want to speak you can type and chat here so you can send a message hello and then click send okay your message will send here and then it should go to the host. The host will be able to reply. Okay, let me see what other functions there are that you might need. That's pretty much all you really need. But another thing I'd like to add is that you can have these icons. If you, if there's a meeting and you have a question, you want to raise your hand, you can do it like this. See it, okay? Okay, another thing you can do is, so if you have a question, you can raise your hand. And... What else can you do? Click on more. You can see uh, there are extra options, but most of them you don't actually use, okay? And you can also stop your video. If you do not want to share your video, your photo will come up instead. And that will, uh, that will save your bandwidth. So if you want to, if your internet is a bit slow, you could do that, okay? Now, I'd like to mention again, don't forget to wear your earphones with your microphone, okay, have a microphone here as well because that will prevent echo and you'll get good quality sound in the meeting.